Thanks for watching Bliss. I'm Brian Carter again here at Raven County with another three of the senior leaders and star players for the uh, Raven County Wildcats. So I got Lang Windham here, senior running back, Corey Keller, sort of the Swiss Army knife on the team. You can do a little bit of everything there. And then Cesar Cruz, uh, kind of the captain of the, the lines on O-line and D-line. But guys, really appreciate you uh, being here and letting us talk some Raven County football. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us. All right, so Lane, we'll, we'll kick it off with you, man. Um, just the obvious question. This is a, a new era for Raven County football with what um, we've seen over the last few years and then the mass exodus of uh, that huge senior class and the coaching staff. Um, bringing back Coach Davis is awesome to have that still back in place. But um, being that it's a new era, talk about um, the expectations that this team has. Uh, you know, uh, regardless of losing, you know, 20-something seniors. We got a big senior class ourselves, but I think we still have the same expectations, same chip on our shoulder. Yeah. I think the ultimate goal is to win the state championship just as it was when we had our five-star quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. And you, and you got a great quarterback again this year, too. Yeah. So, not, you know, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Corey, for you, um, not sure how much. I always like to see how you're going to get featured because it, you just change the game in so many different ways. But I kind of consider you part of that skill position group because you can step in at receiver at any point and change the game. So uh, what is it like knowing that even though there was the mass turnover skill position-wise, this team is set with elite talent? Yes, sir. We, uh, we got, got a bunch of good skill guys this year. Mm -hmm. We got uh, Noah, a kid that's moved. That he's, he's very good. Mm -hmm. He'll help us a lot. Yeah. And then we'll be just fine. For and, and being part of this uh, core of talented seniors coming back, do you feel any kind of a sense of burden at all that you carry uh, as a group, uh, being that you guys are now the leaders of this team? Uh, I think the expectations are the same as they were in years past, you know, and there's there's definitely some uh, some pressure to keep up the keep it up, but I think the goal is the same. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all right, Caesar. For you uh, again, it's just tremendous for you. Uh, you know, it kind of stinks. Like I guess seeing your your fellow line mates heading on to the next level or whatever. But uh, being that they have you coming back is, is a huge addition uh, to this roster. So, um, talk about on the lines because I think that's one area that people you know you look at when you make a deep playoff run. That's where the games really come into play is on the lines. So, uh, what do you feel like this line's been able to kind of rebuild over the summer? Yeah, just uh, hard working people. It's obviously just they come here and work, uh, just working on the little things, trying to get those perfected, and just trying to work off of each other because that's basically how the game is played. Yeah, up, up on the trenches. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. What's been your message to some of those younger guys? Because they look up to you as you know. Again, you're that senior leader. You're back. You're so experienced. Uh, what's been kind of the biggest message you've given to them to try to get them up to your level? Uh, just come come to work and get after it. Uh, everything's at 100%, even though when we have uh, walkthroughs, just focus in, focus on the little <clears throat> details, uh, ask questions if you need them, because they're really important when it comes up to the line. Yeah. Uh, Lang, for you, man, uh, just, again, being one of the, the skill players coming back, and what you've done over the last couple of seasons here at Raven County has been fantastic. And I know, like, last year, your, your rushing yards took a hit, but then your overall yards went up because of, the, the way that you play as part of a big threat in the passing game as well. But um, what are some of the goals that you might along the way? I know your biggest goal, you mentioned state championship and region title comes with that. But um, what are some of the things that you would hope to accomplish personally on the way? Um, you know, personally, I always want to do well um, running the ball. I don't, my personal goals aren't as much touchdowns and yardage this year but to do more things like small things for my team like hold on to the football mm -hmm. uh, catch the ball you know um, just give my team the best um, opportunity to win the football game yeah man that's one of the things that I love about how you in this offense uh, is you definitely keep that defense honest because they can't just just because you don't get the ball in the backfield doesn't mean you're not going to be a factor so I guess you're probably gonna be doing some blocking too here and there so. <laughs> uh, all right so Corey uh, this team has always been one traditionally that does a lot off the field uh, to make sure that you have those bonds of uh, the, the word brotherhoods used quite often in this program, but just um, just the way of like keeping that sense of playing for something bigger than yourself. 
Um, is it fair to say that this team coming into this year has great chemistry, and what's that been looking like? Yes, sir. We most of the team's been playing together since we were very young, and the people who moved here fit in very well and a big part of the team. And uh, we went to the drive-in, watched some movies, the team together this year, and done, done a lot of stuff together as a team. Yeah. Did the Kurahi thing that you guys always do with the senior group as well. Yeah. Uh, Caesar, for you, this is a it's a tough question, man, but. Um, you're stepping into a, a brand new region. You got some familiarity there with uh, Elbert County going with you, but you mix in commerce. It's kind of a fun looking region. Uh, what's your outlook on where Raven County fits in with this, this new region? It's definitely going to be a challenge, you know, seeing a bunch of new different teams that we haven't seen in, you know, in years. Mm -hmm. uh, Elbert, we've been familiar with them, but they've always been good. Uh, commerce, we've heard that they've always been good you know, traditionally, mm -hmm. but it's going to be it's going to be fun. Yeah, I think a lot of people are excited about renewing that sort of rivalry with uh, Commerce because it's a game we haven't seen too often before. All right, so uh, Lang, you know, a lot of people were wondering, Coach Davis, again, it's, it's awesome because we know the offense uh, isn't going to change much in terms of what we know to expect, but are there any fun wrinkles that you could probably reveal or anything that might be different that's going to be opened up in the play playbook this year? Uh, one little thing I'll reveal is we're going to Formation will be a little different in the backfield here and there. Okay. We'll throw in some like some eye stuff. Okay. Uh, be in the pistol yeah. a little more. That'll uh, be good. That'll be fun to get the ball around. Yeah. Say no more because we don't want to give anyone some yeah. tips here. But uh, all right, we haven't hit on defense really. So let's hit on defense, Corey. Uh, again, you play all three phases of the game there. But um, on defense, uh, how excited are you uh, for what this unit's been able to do gearing up for this fall? I'm excited. This. Uh, this very, or, well, not very different, but it's a different defensive scheme than we've had in the past mm -hmm. with Coach Rollis' as defensive coordinator. But yep. I think it would be pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. And, Caesar, uh, talk about in terms of you guys have put in so much work over the summer. Uh, we all know that, that this team's always well conditioned. But uh, how much work has gone into getting ready for this fall? Uh, it's definitely been more than the past couple of years that uh, we've been here. Uh, a lot of uh, focus on speed because we're trying to be the quickest mm -hmm. team that we could possibly be. And just working hard in the weight room, trying to get as much uh, pounds as we can, be as strong as we possibly can, and still stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy is key. So, uh, guys, have no doubt if you stay healthy, barring any injury, this team has big things ahead of it. So I'm excited to see how it all goes. Uh, congrats on a great career so, f so far for you guys, and wish you the best of luck in your senior year. Thank so. you. Thank you.